back to today we review and today we have the special edition from Walmart the heart half drill driver kit uh, this one in particular I wanted to review it because I've seen it a couple of times at Walmart and I know many of you have also been wondering is it good or is it eh? so today we're gonna be reviewing a two section we're gonna be reviewing the actual heart uh, power drill and we're actually going to be reviewing also in addition the hyper tough uh, exterior wood screws. Now the reason I'm reviewing two of these things is because usually what tends to happen is we will, myself included, I'll go to the store and just like, hey, you know, it's already here. Ah, fine, I don't need to go anywhere else and I'll just get it. So we're going to be reviewing the actual items itself. So uh, we're going to review the item. I'm going to we're going to give some examples about it. We're going to view it as well. And then at the end, we'll provide, you know, I'll provide my uh, personal thoughts about this. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, this is a pretty big, a pretty heavy uh, box. I was a little surprised. And that actually is kind of good in a sense that it shows that it's not that we uh, light. So let's look, take a look at the box for real box includes. It actually includes the battery and the battery charger, as we could see pointed towards the bottom section. Uh, it has a powerful motor that delivers 106, 1,600 RPM. So uh, this actually is one of the new things that Walmart's releasing. And it's kind of that version of the multi-tool, the all-in-one where you can actually have for uh, impact, you know, uh, vacuum cleaner, blower, different things like that. It actually shows a small display um, towards the top section as well of the various things that one battery can do. So they're trying to get into the game as well with all these uh, versatile items. Uh, of course, you know, around the box, you know, we have a couple of different options. Um, and of course, the back section, it delivers a few key points about it. So it talks about, you know, the 24 uh, position clutch for adjusting torque while driving fa uh, fasteners, speed gear box for optimizing speed and control. Uh, it also mentions right about uh, here where it's a half inch uh, and LED uh, so it comes with an LED light as well for working enhanced visibility convenient onboard bit storage uh, and of course it tells you you know the different forms it's 1.5 AH lithium ion battery and charger and it kind of describes you know how it for, uh, performs versus other ones as well and it kind of tells you building projects compared to various different things um, so let's go ahead and take a look uh, oh, well, before we do that, it also does provide with specifications. There we go. So those are the specifications. So let's go ahead and open it up. Um, so I'm going to quickly state why I also got this one. is because I was built, helping out with a project for a fence. So you get your uh, manual and, of course, all the stuff that, you know, you shouldn't be uh, using the tool. Uh, near a tub or anything like that because you could get electrocuted um, so we have first of all the drill itself and it's a pretty good good size uh, like any other size they have that universal uh, design so let's put that real quick um, let me go ahead and get the actual box And before I continue with this, I also wanted to show the different uh, forms of what you can actually use the battery with. So it's kind of going with the Ryobi style, where Ryobi uh, creates a bunch of different items, and with one battery you could do it. So this is kind of mimicking it in terms, you know, like fan, saw, uh, radio, uh, or different Bluetooth scenarios, vacuum, things like that. So go ahead and look at the item itself. Uh, grip wise it's, it has a pretty good grip I like the the design the well yes and no I like the white layout with the black um, design it has nice ac accents of blue you know uh, it's good although if you're gonna be working in mud you could tell it's gonna get dirty pretty quick and it'll stain it pretty fast as well other than that it has a nice uh, section in the back of rubber of course you know the regular drill uh, you do have how it mentions, you know, the different sections. And, yeah, it's a little little hard to push in, but it does a good job. Um, overall, it's a pretty good weight. It, it feels good. It feels good. It doesn't feel cheap. Uh, battery, you kind of have, like I mentioned, that new style of battery as well, copying 
or mimicking the other versions. Um, in terms of the charger itself, it's a very different setting as well. It, this one actually reminds me a bit of the Harbor Freight uh, style. If you've seen that one, it's Harbor Freight, the Harbor Freight drill that they sell for like $20. It has kind of the same style of uh, charging connection and also the bottom is a little similar to it but uh, it's it's probably convenient for the manufacturer to do that. One of the things that I did, didn't did know at the beginning was that it actually comes with a little bit so that was kind of interesting. It comes with a little extra um, surprise in a sense you could say. So yeah, I like that. I like that it came with an extra bonus. Uh, so let's go ahead and put it in. And as you can tell, there's a light. It stays on for a while, so it might help out if you're kind of grabbing it and still wondering, like, oh, you know, where's the hole? So it helps out with that. It's a good sound. Uh, I like that. As soon as you stop, it stops as well. Um, you could feel the different settings as well with how it functions. I have a video that shows the way it runs. And here we are with the settings, the highest ones, and here is a quick uh, demonstration of it. And this is with one hand. One thing that I, I know um, is a necessity and, you know, I just never understood is the different sizes in terms of... Uh, for bits and different forms as well. So one thing that I I didn't like when shopping for, for a quick uh, drill or anything was that this one was a half inch regarding for the other ones. I kind of wanted more of a single version, but they they tend to describe, you know, what, what work you're using it for and different things like that. But I think I would have liked for basically a just standard version instead of having the three eighths and the one, I'm sorry, the one half. Um, that's my opinion, you know, everybody kind of has their own opinion, but I would have preferred a single version just to have uh, two and one and not having to worry. Uh, it actually charges pretty decent as well, and it comes with a little different uh, settings as well. It tells you, you know, your power, your uh, testing, your charging, and of course, if it's charged, uh, and an error as well. I will say that I used this one very quickly when I was actually trying to grab it. I ended up uh, just taking it to where I was working with the fence and I started using it. Surprisingly, it had already a good amount of battery in it. I left it charging for about two hours and so I ended up using this uh, drill for about three to four hours and it stayed constant. I was able to tell towards the end that the drill was losing power, but over on general, it was actually a pretty good uh, consistency. Uh, let me show you really quick. This version, this is the... Uh, Walmart hyper tough um, nail or drills I'm sorry these are the exterior wood screws and well I can personally say that they're not good for uh, heavy projects so it, it mentions that it's for uh, for decking for exterior wood projects uh, corrosion protection so that's why I was thinking like all right you know it actually does a pretty good it sounds like it's pretty good but uh, once I actually started using it I ended up finding out that it's not that great so you know I paid I paid for the drill $69 and for the deck screws I paid $554 and I will say you get what you pay for that's basically it and um, here's a video of what happens so Yes, the this, this screw is not the greatest either, but I uh, wanted to showcase how once it reaches, I guess, kind of its limit, instead of continuing, it basically just glides. Let me show you. And it won't really hold down like the other. Uh, you know, to, I guess, summarize everything, should you buy the new heart drill? That really is kind of up to you if you know you want to try something new it I would say it is meant for either medium or light to medium projects around the house although for about six seventy dollars I feel it's a bit expensive for about seventy dollars I could probably go uh, to Lowe's or Home Depot buy a Ryobi or a different kind of uh, 
brand as well and you know I probably would have a bit more um, faith or not well more I guess assurance that what I'm getting what I'm paying for actually is a good value and you know it, it, it it's a good product as well so I would recommend if you're on a tight form or something like that it's not bad it just I don't know if it will have the same competition with the other brands as well the well-named brands so I want to say maybe if we give it a bit more time and see how hard it does in regards to the projects as well uh, it will do well but it's a good it's a good drill for around the the house small projects things like that uh, this one uh, if you're working on a fence like I was I wouldn't recommend it it's used for very light works of you know wood stuff and things like that things that aren't gonna be like two by fours that's uh, too much for it maybe a two by I mean four by four is this isn't good for a four by four uh, two by four maybe or something smaller it's just that um, as you saw in the video it wasn't keeping up with it but my overall my or my final conclusion is hey it's not that bad it does a pretty good job um, for projects I just wouldn't recommend it for heavy projects uh, for about the same price you could probably find something you know a, a name brand but you know each to their own um, hope you all enjoyed this review if you have any questions or comments go ahead and put them on the comments and you know hope everyone's doing well lots of love and kisses and you all take care